how to eliminate your time wasters in life and boost times 10 your productivity. This is the title of today's video and I'm going to share how God helped me in this situation. I'm going to share a very powerful strategy, an effective way of working so you can work less time, get more work done with better results. It's an effective way that includes pinpointing and removing, throwing out your time wasters and your distractions so you can start organizing your life better and boost times 10 your productivity. So I'm going to share a powerful way how God has helped me. So let's waste no time and jump straight to it. So we all have time wasters in life and it could be anything from Wasting time on social media, scrolling through Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. It could be allowing people to come into your life, whether they're visiting you or messaging you or phoning you, that you allow them to come into your life and waste your time with their nonsense. Or you allow computer notifications to notify you every time something new has happened on social media. So again, that distracts you and it takes you away from what you're doing and toward the distraction again. Or it could be an, a computer alert that alerts you when there's a new email. So again, that distracts you. And all this, all these distractions happen to us hundreds and hundreds of times a day. It could be little distractions here and there. It could be anything. And so I'm going to share with you how to prevent these distractions so that you can get more things done because all these things are preventing you from getting your work done. I mean, imagine how much more work you could get done if you stopped allowing these distractions to happen. Imagine how much more you could achieve in your life in any area of life. It could be your work, your finances, your, your health. It could be your marriage. It could be anything. Imagine how much more you could achieve in your life if you just completely shut out all these distractions. Time wasters. If you just eliminated them from your life. So I'm going to share that solution with you uh, right now. And that solution is this. All this time you spend on your time wasters, all these time wasters, I want you to instead replace that time with God. What does this mean? So instead of working, for example, 10 hours a day, and that includes all your time wasting hours and putting God all the way down there or putting God second or not putting God anywhere at all. Instead, I want you to work five hours and put God first. Stay with me, pay attention, it's very important. Instead of working 10 hours, work, and God is nowhere in the equation, work five hours and put God first. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the remaining five hours that you are now saving to spend time with God, to study the word of God. How does God say to go about this area in life? What does God say about this area in life? Because it talks about all areas of life. You're going to use those five hours to practice living in righteousness with God. And what you're going to find that is going to happen in your life by doing so, you are working less time, getting more work done at, with better results. So you might be thinking, well, how is that possible? Why is that going to work? Well, that works because the answer is simple. And the answer is this. When you put God first, when you do God's work, God does your work. When you do God's work, God does your work. So what I'm telling you to do is partner with God. Partner with God so you can work less, save more time and get more work done. Better results. And I've got a Bible verse to back that up. And it is Matthew 6, 33, which says, Seek first the kingdom of God. So seek first God, seek his righteousness first, and everything else will be given to you. Everything else will be added to you. See, a lot of people, they say, you know, well, I don't have time. I don't have time for that. So I need to work 10 hours nonstop. Just keep working and working and working. And all these time-wasting things are in there as well. And no, God is nowhere in the equation. But when you stop doing that, and instead of working 10 hours, you're working that five hours, and you're using these remaining five hours, which is your time-wasters are in there as well. You're using this remaining five hours to spend more time with God. And you start really building a relationship with God and knowing God's word and living in righteousness and practice living this way and you're doing God's work, God will do your work. And that's exactly what he did in my life. 
You see, God knows that you have needs. God knows that you need to work. God knows that you need to provide for your family. God knows that you need to prepare your rent. He knows that you need to clothe yourself, that you need a roof over your head, that you need to feed yourself. He knows all of this. So he's not going to leave you hanging. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom and all of those things will be added to you. Let me give you another Bible verse, Matthew 6.8, which says, Do not be like them. For your father knows exactly what you need. So God knows that you need to work. He knows that you have a mortgage to pay. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows all these things. But he's saying, don't be like them. Don't be like the people who put God last at last. And all they ever do is work, work, work. Because these people, I promise you, they work more, they stress more, they get less work done, and their results are not satisfactory. Don't be like that. Your father knows exactly what you need. He knows you have to pay that mortgage. He knows you have to put your kids through college. But he's telling you, seek me first and everything else will be added to you. It's very important. When people don't do that, in essence, what they're saying is they're saying to God, I can do better than you. I don't need you. I don't trust you. I don't believe that you're going to get me through this. I don't believe that you're going to provide a path where there is no path. I believe I can do better. And so God says, okay, okay. And he allows you to do as you choose because you have free will. So then you go and you work those extra hours. You have all these distractions everywhere. Because when God is out of the equation, there are always distractions. Because distractions come from the enemy. And so he allows you to work that extra time, get less work done. You're not satisfied with the results. He says, okay, the choice is yours. You have free will. So you end up working more. You're getting less done. Your, your results are not satisfactory. When all you have to do is put God first. Work less, work less, spend more time with God. The time you would have been, been distract, distracted here, there and everywhere, spend that time with God and then God will do your work for you. He will show you the way. He will show you the path. He will show you to the right person. He will show you the right things to do. The right things at the right time, the right path, the right words, everything in divine right timing. So your things can be manifest. And that by doing so, you're working less, you're getting more work done, you've got satisfactory results. And that is how to boost times 10 your productivity. So try it. That's how God has helped me with all these distractions, with all this overworking, all this overstressing. Try it. That's how God has helped me. With that being said, head over to the comment box or the descriptions because I have many links in there for you. One of the links is to my book, Success in the Subconscious Mind, bestseller. Another link is to work uh, privately one-to-one -one with me or a link to my newsletter. So I have many links there. I also offer a variety of uh, free courses as well that you can do from the comfort of your own home. So click on the link, see what works best for you. And uh, I will see you next time.